Good morning and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. As we take a moment and we meet back at the swing, we're going to be sitting in Jesus' swing and sitting in his swing as we um, share his spoken word to us today. I would like for you just to hear him speaking to you his words that he um, downloaded to me to, to re release to you. But before we get started, I want to just refresh our memory of where we are in this um, five episode series. Um, the title of the series is Jesus' What, Where, When, and How to His End Time Battle Strategies. And we today we're going to address the where. The last episode we addressed the what, and he specifically asked us what do we have what are we doing with what we um, he has placed in our hands and specifically we have gifts that he or a gift that he has placed in our hands and um they could be in um any one of the seven mountains of societal influence that he is asking us to step into these positions within our family, within religion, education, the media, entertainment, business, and government. And these are specifically, um, we were designed by our creator to step into these positions for such a time as this. And stepping into these positions, he will empower us with the seven spirits of God. He'll give us the spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit. He'll give us the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of strength, or the spirit of might, um, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. And in all of all of these things, all these gifts that we walk in, we have to have the fear of the Lord. I can tell you, I have such a fear of, of not being obedient to him, um, not out of, not out of uh, a, a, a fleshly fear, but out of a respect for what he's done in my life and what he's called me to do. I have a fear that if I don't step in to and be obedient to what he's asked of me, that someone else will miss out on their eternity and um, their blood will be on my hands, okay? So that's the, that's the fear I carry. Um, it, it's a holy fear. It's a reverence that I have for him and um, what he's done in my life and what he speaks to, into my life. So, um, and I asked you before we left last time um, to just take a moment and, and ask yourself, what is it that God has placed in your hands to steward? What is that gift? What is that gift that, that he, the Holy Spirit has been teaching you? It could be for years or it could be just a suddenly. Um, and he, um, he has a way of doing those suddenlies in our life where all of a sudden we just wake up and this is what I was called to do. I now can see it. I now it registers in my spirit. And once it registers in your spirit, then the passion grows. So what is that gift that God has placed in your life? So this next, um, th this ser this um, episode will be on the where. Where are you going down the road you took? And um, the download he gave me is entitled, Go Back to the Why in Your Road. And I was, as I was reading over this this morning, I realized that he's not e only going to show us um, the, the narrow way that we should be going, um, and have some of us have chosen the wider way that leads to death and destruction. But there are times in our life and our times in our journey where we're uncertain of what our gift is 
and we don't necessarily really have the same frequency as the voice of the Father or the Son or the Son or the Holy Spirit. We we I can't quite pick it up clear for His direction, and sometimes I think we. Um, that voice behind us that's saying go to the right or going to the left, we um, take the wrong turn. And um, it's not that we're traveling away from um, down a road of destruction. It's that we're traveling away from what God has called us to do um, as part of his body. Uh, and supporting and what we learned from the last lesson is we're part of his body and he um, all of us work together so it's important that we um, we understand and are led by the Holy Spirit in our gifting so before I go any further I'm going to say a word of prayer and invite the Holy Spirit in and well the Holy Spirit's already here we um, carry him with us he abides in us and uh, what I want to ask him is that he will settle on me. And um, um, just like he did Jesus and the, when he was baptized and that dove settled on his shoulder. And I heard um, Pastor Bill Johnson said one time, I, just me saying that brought this back to my memory. Pastor Bill Johnson said one time in a sermon about the Holy Spirit, he says, what would you do if a dove was sitting on your shoulder and he illustrated like you would you would walk very very um gingerly very um carefully always remembering that the dove was on your shoulder you wouldn't want him to fly away so that's what we're um um that's what we're leaning into. We're like leaning into the deeper of what the Holy Spirit wants us um, to carry him with us, on us, not just abiding in us because the abiding in us is for us. The abiding on us is for others. So anyway, so let me say a word of prayer and then we'll get into what um, Jesus downloaded to me on the 16th of this month. So anyway dear heavenly father oh how i love you how i love serving you how i love walking in these mysteries with you i love discovering the little treasures that you have along the way i am okay with not knowing the full mystery because of the little treasures you give us along the way now, Heavenly Father, as we look more into these questions that you've asked of us, the, the what, the where, the when, the how, Lord, let us, let us really examine ourselves and where we are with you and where you're wanting us to be. Um, because it's critical for this time that you've placed us in for us to know um, the, the right road for us to travel, Lord. And not only that, but that we walk in your footsteps, Jesus, and that we listen to your commands because, Lord, we can only travel this life with you um, showing us the way and guiding us through these last days supernatural warfare that we are in and open our eyes to the battle strategy that you are are giving to us so lovingly and and so and sometimes so lovingly correcting us and um, because some of us I'm talking about myself Lord it takes a little I'm a slow learner and you know that and so sometimes there's lessons that you have to repeat over and over and over with me. Holy Spirit, I pray you don't have to repeat this one over to me or design a new lesson plan for me. I hope that um, speaking this word, that it registers with my heart, Lord, to make sure that I stay on the same path with you, the same road and um, walk in your footsteps. Now, Holy Spirit, I ask that you dwell in my being and on my being, Lord, and speak the words you have me speak. 
and um, and how you'd have me speak them, Lord. I ask this in your precious son's name. And Lord, I am praying for a harvest, a harvest of many, many souls to come from this that you're teaching us in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I love you, Jesus. Help me, Holy Spirit. So anyway, the title again is um, Go Back to the Why in Your Road. And this was on um, November the 16th at 3.36 a.m. And it was Jesus' voice. So let's, let's tune in to that frequency of Jesus' voice as he speaks to us in this download. But first, I'm going to read a scripture, and it's in the Amplified Version of Matthew 7, 13 and through 14. It says, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad and easy to travel is the path that leads, leads the way to destruction <clears throat> Excuse me, and eternal loss. And there are many who enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow and difficult to travel is the path that leads to the way of everlasting life. And there are few who find it. Now this is Jesus' download to me, or to us, to us. I'm just the scribe. I'm just the scribe, and now I am um, releasing his words to us. Where are you going down the road I'm sorry, let me start over. Where are you going down that road you took? Is it a road with, it's a road with many twists and turns, potholes and roadblocks. Go back to the Y in the road that, and take the other road through the narrow gate. It is the road I made straight for your escape. Newly paved with beautiful scenery, a road less traveled narrow this road is that leads to me many have tried to travel it but fallen short of to finish their journey because of it being so narrow they made the, uh, the turn at the y choosing to travel the wider easier more traveled road leading to death and destruction my children when you choose to travel the road with me, there are beautiful treasures to be discovered, mysteries the Father desires to share with you regarding the secrets of the kingdom. You will face trials and tribulations. They come to mature you in our relationship. The Holy Spirit will guide you, teaching you as you journey the narrow road with me. There is no other way to the Father's house than through me. It is written, narrow is the gate that leads to me, and wide is the path that leads to destruction. Do not be tricked by the enemy's detours, for he seeks to kill, steal, and destroy through his lies, schemes, and disguises. My children, stay close to me, walking in my footprints as you follow me, for I have come to give you life, a life more abundant and free full of joy, peace, and love that no one can take away from you. Go back to that last place you heard my voice, that last place you saw my footprints. Go back to that why on your road. Go back to that place of your first love for me. Oh, my precious ones, my heart longs for you, your return. I desire to rekindle the fire we once had where you spent intimate time together, where we spent intimate time together in our secret place. Turn around and go back to the Y in the road where you chose the road more traveled. That place you left me standing, I'm waiting for you with my arms open wide full of my grace, mercy, and love. Go back to the why in your road. I am waiting for you there, says the Lamb of God. And in his written word, he brings scriptures of uh, um, the written word to guiding us back to or staying on the narrow road or guiding us back 
or just redirecting us, you know? In Isaiah 58, 35 and 8 in the New Living Translation, he says, and a great road will go through that once deserted land. I will be named, I'm sorry, it will be named the Highway of Holiness. Evil-minded people will never travel on it. It will be only for those who walk in God's way. Fools will never walk there. In Philippians 1, 9 through 11, in the Passion Translation, I continue to pray for your love to grow and increase beyond measure, bringing you into the rich revelation of spiritual insight in all things. This will enable you to choose the more excellent way of all, becoming pure and without offense until the unveiling of Christ. And you will be filled completely with the fruits of righteousness that are found in Jesus, the anointed one, bringing great praise and glory to God. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this spoken and written word that you've given us. May we receive it, Lord. May we, the Holy Spirit, continue to open our, our eyes to revelations that this word can speak to us, Lord. For what it speaks to me might speak to another differently. And what you say to, to me could say to another one differently because we all walk different paths, Lord. We all have different gifts. And our, our relationship with you is all unique in, in, in our intimacy with you. For what we, we say or what we do, the actions we take toward our gifting are designed to feed the body and to, to move the body forward in your kingdom. Now, God, I ask you that we, you take us back, draw us back, Holy Spirit, to our first love with Jesus, where he's waiting for us at that why. I can see him, Lord. I can see you, Jesus. I can see you. And I so love seeing that smile on your face when we turn around and go back to where you're waiting for us. You have your arms wide open and a smile on your face and your eyes are glistening with a sparkle of the love you have for us. Now, Lord Jesus, I ask you um, in your precious name to cultivate this seed into a harvest and we'll give you all the glory and the honor in your precious name. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Abba, I love you. You are my Father, and I worship you with my life in obedience to the sacrifice that I so willingly received when you give me, gave me the cup of this ministry. I love you, and I praise you. And I worship you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So in closing, I'm going to ask you to just take a few moments in your devotion time and ask the Holy Spirit, um, did I take a wrong road? Did I, or did I turn a wrong turn? Um, or if, if you're going down that road, um, wide road of destruction, ask for repentance. Ask, ask Jesus back to come into your heart. He will. He's standing at the door knocking. But until next time, till the next time we meet at the swing, may God find you, find us skipping with Jesus down uncharted pathways. I ask you to share this to subscribe to my channel. Again, it's God's channel. And, um, and to share this message because God is definitely giving us battle strategies for this end time in our gifting 
and he's directing us on the narrow way to him. God bless you, and I love you. Until next time, God bless you.